2010 marks the 30-year anniversary of the Miracle on Ice, the last time the U.S. won Olympic gold in men's hockey. While listening to Brian Burke, the architect of Team USA Talk, it may take another miracle to pull it off in Vancouver. We will go in as underdogs. We're confident of that and comfortable with that. All the money's going to be bet on Canada and Russia and Sweden to a lesser extent, and that's fine with us. The U.S. is icing a young team with an average age of 26 and a half and 13 players 25 or younger. Absent are veterans Mike Medano, Keith Kachuk, Bill Guerin, Scott Gomez. In their place, the next generation of young American stars on the rise. Patrick Kane. Boom! Zach Parise. What a goal. This is something you see on highlight reel. Phil Kessel. Scores! Phil Kessel fires at home. It's a wholesale change in the kind of game they will play. They had a lot of older players that had uh, had a lot of experience at the NHL level. They knew what it took to win and they played that style. They played a very patient game. Their game now is on speed and transition. They're going to play fast. They're going to play a very quick um, kind of in-your-face uh, up-tempo game. It should also be a solid game at both ends of the ice. Burke made a point of taking players who can play checking roles against the big guns. Guys like Kessler, Langenbrunner, Malone. Even guys that are in checking roles have good numbers this year. Excellent numbers offensively. So they can play in both ends of the rink. But I think what they've done is brought as many quick competitive uh, players as they can. And they've got them all there. And I think th their attitude is that uh, with the goaltending that they have and the ability to move it from the back end up to the forwards that they feel like it could I'm sure they feel like they can compete against anybody of the six other nations with a legitimate medal shot heading into these games the United States is the only one that landed in Canada's pool the two will face off on February 21st in a game that very well could have huge implications heading into the next round Ryan Rashog TSN